You push your way through the crowd of people and stand in the way of the villagers. Oh, I was muted, sorry. A man dressed in richly decorated vestments looks you up and down. Pelendir will be with you, dwarf. It is none of your business, but this woman here is a thief. She and her henchmen have emptied the monastery's granary and were willing yeah, to... Yeah, I unmuted. But you guys are a little behind, I think. That's a lie. We asked for help and these people turned us away. I came back to ask again. Um... To the priest, what proof do you have that this woman committed a crime? What evidence do you have against this woman? We found the granary broken into. Almost a third of our grain and a significant amount of supplies have gone. And all this just one day after she and her people were snooping around here. Mm. That ain't proof. That isn't proof. It could simply be coincidence. Anyway, why would a thief come back to the scene of a crime? The priest eyes you in silence, while some of the villagers make it clear that dwarves should keep their noses out of their business. Tell us what happened. Tell us what happened. The villagers grumble, but the priest gives the woman a chance to defend herself. My name is Tavia. I was forced to flee Tabayin with my family when the parish land began to spread. My husband, he... We had to leave him behind. The horror in the woman's eyes. This time kill her. <laughs> yeah. Came of her husband. No one accepted us in the north. There are too many refugees and everyone is scared. Queen Wei has offered land in Wei and to anyone who will work hard for it. But what should we grow if no one will sell us grain? We offered a fair price, but Father Mallon... She darts a scathing gaze at the priest. He wanted double the amount. The priest glances briefly at the angry villagers. Then he replies in a firm voice. It was a hard winter. And with the increasing frequency of orc attacks, we must think of ourselves first and foremost. Even we cannot help everyone. The bystanders mutter in agreement. Let the woman go. We can investigate the matter if you like. Do what you have to do. We have more important things to take care of that she did it the priest looks at the villagers standing around him the lust for blood written in their faces on the other hand before we do something we can't undo dissatisfied murmur the woman is taken into a i mean we already did all this yeah so let's just go through this a little a bit quicker observe the scene a little longer yeah, too dark here. Inspect the empty corner. Why are you here? Move your sleeky. Talk to enter the guardhouse. Where are the people? Where are the spoils? Welcome back to the village. So I tell us what happened. So where are your people taking again supplies? Blah blah blah. And would have had if she had lied to us. I'm letting you go. Yep, okay, so right now we are again somewhat like every night in the wilderness. at the place because she comes back and then she says that in... in the night, protected oh. from the wind in a ruin and is sitting around a campfire as the topic of your new companion's performance on the stage comes up. Sleight of hand, speed, alchemy and makeup can have an incredible effect. Namora transformed herself into an elf using the latter. I also noticed your weapons, Namora. I've never seen such swords before. Their names are Crescent and Sunbeam. I designed them myself. It took a long time until I found a smith who was able to make them. She looks like a pointy ear too. Nature hasn't been kind to her. For this absent-minded remark, Boindil receives evil looks from Namora and grins from the men. Perhaps I really am an elf and will bring you a nightmare in your sleep. Bye. Okay, we already should have had this one. The group oh. isn't overly friendly towards Geralda. Oh, this not. She's sitting once again, apart from the ice. Let's go like this. You ask yourself what you can do to break the ice when you see that she has a file in her hand. The file is wrapped around with silver wire and has a snap lock. The liquid in it is black. Geralda opens the lid and takes a big swig. As she puts down the bottle, a smile flits across her face. 
followed by a short expression of deep satisfaction. It is the first time that you have seen a positive emotion on the face of the somber dwarf. What's in the bottle? Medicine? Is that medicine? No, it's... I don't know either. If I don't Great idea then. Stronger and stronger until it until I can't Let's call an addiction. When I drink sweetheart. It, Let's call an addiction. And I feel rested and strong. And when the file's empty? I don't know. I don't know where I got the drink from. Cocaine. Let alone what it Definitely. Is. But if I don't drink it, frackers give me strength. Okay, fluid cocaine. <laughs> crazy or die. Geralda plays with the file, lost in her thoughts. As if she were trying to remember where she saw it for the first time. I don't know why it sometimes switches the camera all the way to the left or right and such. What is this quest? Some ancient ruins and an orc camp in a gorge. A small group of Bogdalim is. What? I want to have some fighting. Let's go, guys. Definitely druggy, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoa, okay. Uh, who do I want to take with me? Whoa, is this just a level 2? Oh no, he's... Oh, level 7, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This guy's strong, this guy, Bowendale, Bowendale. This guy is level 9. I actually want to see what he can do. So I will take away her, his thing and take him. Because he has also a little bit less health. So why would I take him? Start fight. Burn out Bognilum caves with the grenades. Okay, take the grenade, man. Throw them into the holes. That'll just stop the little beasts. Okay, where's the grenade? Oh, here. And again. And again. Where's this other hole? Oh, here. Move, mate. Move, mate. Friendly fire. Oh, there's a large hole over here, dude. Let's go. Okay, where's the other hole? Is this a hole? No. Whoa, there's a lot, by the way. Didn't even check. What is his ability? Oh, they all go taunt. They all taunted by this. Okay, wait. Let's see. What can you? Yes, on my way. Boglin cave burned out. Boglin alive. Okay, so now now I need to kill them. I keep forgetting that this quest is under, like in the middle. Hello, Kinsey B. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. Oh, he's surrounded by all these guys. Oh, so they move away sometimes. Okay, so that was the last one. <laughs> Very impressive, I must say. Let me out, my friends. Okay, I don't know what that was. Let me out, my friends. What's that? He's level 8 right now. Bone deal revolves around himself with a move, he deals damage. Decapitates enemies with less than 50% health. 
I think I need that. No, that wasn't the. Uh, uh, I like this music a lot. It reminds you of good cinematic music. Yeah, it's pretty good music. You're right. Twice the AP when he kills enemies. Dungdale and nearby foes deal 25. Yeah, right. Oh, nearby himbo. Yeah. Nearby, nearby heroes. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, what's this? I haven't chosen this one yet. Rodario chose a vial. Throws a vial that releases an acid cloud. Deals damage to enemies. And floats in the air for a short while. I think this is better. Okay. Uh, yep. Stop. Jesus, man. Just let me continue this game. Finally. Okay. So what's, well, what's left to do here? Do I still move? Oh. A pile of wood. Or is it actually a pyre? I don't know. Oh, I need to save this guy. Okay, I understand. Oh, thank you. Have you seen Helga? Helga? Helga! Where are you? <laughs> okay. Talk to the old man. I need, no, so now I need to, like, uh, save Helga. Where's Helga? T take the bag. Which bag? Hmm. Dried herbs. There must be a cave left. No, I had to kill the other boar wolves, whatever they were called. And then I was basically done. But now I need to still do something here. And I don't know what I need to do. I have no idea. Mm. Go up here maybe. What do I do? Oh. I have to look at something still. An improvised bracket on which you could hang something. Oh, okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> you can't leave this map. No, it seems... Oh. It seems I still have to do something. Maybe it's in my quests. Quests. No, quest finish. No? I have no idea what I have to do right now. What? Normally it just go it goes by itself. But now I have to go out. Okay, that's kind of weird. So normally it just leaves the map by itself, but now I just had to click it. That's kind of strange if you ask me. And why can't I go here? Oh wait, I cannot go. Oh my god, so I have to go like all the way back right now. As on the why is there still a quest line here? Sits apart from the others, but tonight he waves you over. Smeralda, my sister. You want to know what happened, right? You nod and sit down. She followed Boindle into battle. We tried to talk her out of it, but she was as unyielding as a mountain. Then came the day when the High Pass was attacked. Bavrigor drinks from his liquor. He killed her. Blinded by the frenzy of battle, he thought she was one of the enemy. We can never forgive him. He killed my sister. Could you? You inevitably remember the loss of Lot Yonan, Thrala, and her children. You remain sitting in silence, each of you deep in thought. Boandal approaches, having either heard you or guessing what you are talking about. His fierce life forge is a curse. He thought the orcs had robbed him of his love, and the ire came over him. Sometimes he calls her name in his dreams. Oh, he'd never have met it. But he suffers just like Bavragor. He too loved her. The stonemason doesn't react. Hi, no Nano Power. How are you doing? Go back to the others. Thanks for joining in today. Mm, yeah, I, I forget that quest. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna move. Can I? Can I? Just go. okay. I can move down. That's so stupid. Why can I move down? Maybe if I go here and then. Okay. Now. 
Oh, wait, I still have to go here. From far off, you can already see the orc camp, blocking the pass to the firstlings. You move away from the path and observe the camp from a nearby cliff. You see strong fortifications and hundreds of orcs. Finally! Now that's what I call a challenge. Let's go! Frontal attacks may have worked in the past, but this here is more like capturing a stronghold. It requires a large military force or a good strategy. Both would be best. We should search for another way. I could go and take a look and perhaps improve our chances for an attack. You remember how the actor had transformed himself into Lot Yonin and Nudin in the Fedania? You certainly wouldn't bet against him being able to walk through the orc. Ah, good idea, good idea. I'll come with you. If I stay in the shadows, they won't see me. The actor nods gratefully. I'll come too. I also know how to keep myself hidden. Namora wants to object, but you are quicker. Thank you, Geralda. Two more eyes and ears would be helpful on such. True. All right, time to infiltrate the camp. Withdraw. Listen, no. Try to sabotage their defenses, and if you can safely take out a couple of guards, then do it. But don't take any big risks. Come back here if things get. This too game's cool, but some things are just very strange. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think I still had to do something over here, but I have no idea what I had to do. I couldn't do anything more. It seemed that way anyway. What? What did it? Oh. In Mifirania, big city, way under the run over by orcs. Oh, wait, it's just. Okay, you've decided not to travel directly to the Fifthlings realm in the north. Overground. Okay, oh, wait. Now I have to scroll down. Path through the mountain is blocked by a large orc, orc camp. You need good tactics. Powerful allies are, in the best case, both. To vanquish this camp. Alternatively, you may be able to find a. Wow. Maybe I think I do have to go this way again. That's kind of annoying. I listen to your music. Nice. Thank you. I really appreciate that. The old ruins of Wackenstein appear before you. Yeah, but okay, maybe I do have to do something here then. Let's just try. Let's just see. I don't know what I need to do, but let's just see. Like and subscribe for more.